It's a big afternoon of Afternoons Allied as brand new 2023 stimulus jacks are passed. In today's recording, we go over these monster new stimulus jacks for 2023. Huge, and therefore you, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rare benefits, and Veterans benefits. They're for you if you're low income. They're for you if you make less than 75000 And they're for you if you are a married couple and you make less than 150000 The breaking news today is that the markets are falling dramatically. That red ticker right there at 93 up for the Dow was just about two hours ago. Right now, we're down 300 points. And that's why you need massive stimulus. In this accordingly, we're going to go over these massive stimulus checks. Fast stimulus pays out in about 48 hours. And it's for you. It's incredible stimulus. It's been lost since the month of March, and it's going to be law all next year. It's 2023 stimulus checks passed for you. They're absolutely incredible. How do we get them? In the brand new membership newsletter at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. That brand new newsletter is a place where you can go get those great stimulus checks right now while watching this recording. All day, every day, and as soon as you become a member, you go right into news.la.com forward slash newsletter and get those incredible stimulus checks for members right today. Plus, we'll be looking at the latest details on this market, plus the latest on 2023. Those brand new stimulus checks for 2023 monthly for you. Stimulus checks A through Q become a member. The 24 hour a day, seven days a week membership newsletter. As soon as you become a member, you can go right in, get those incredible checks. And it's not 2013, <laughs> that's a title. 2023 stimulus checks. Plus, breaking news today, manufacturing report release, Tesla flipping and flopping, and the Nasdaq trouble, but minutes ago, more indication that there will not be a soft land in this economy. What happened? The market is down 300 points. You see it now 93 at the moment, uh, about two hours ago, but right now at the moment, it's down 300 points. The market's really taking a big hit right now. It's not going to be a Santa Claus rally. It's going to be a Santa Claus uh, uh, snowfire. <laughs> it's going to be a reindeer uh, Rudolph uh, rumble in the jungle. In this big recording, we go over the latest details of your big money and the rumble in the jungle with the reindeers and Santa, but not a rally. It's a breaking news. It's all right here, and it all starts right now on a big, bold, special edition of Afternoons. Good afternoon, everybody. This graphic indicates the financial cliff that we have been talking about a while on this channel. Look at that January. January 2023 into 2024. We're 30 days away for that financial cliff, and more indication today is that we are already into that financial cliff. The red ticker under the word January was about an hour ago when the, net, when the Dow was up 93 points and the NASDAQ was down 79 where are we right now a little bit later in the day the dow is currently down 312 points one percent and the nasdaq down a point and a half percent down 130 points it's at 12 39 with about 40 minutes left in the trading day this is afternoon's la taped right before the trading day and this is the breaking news and that's why you want to get these incredible stimulus checks, 18 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. And it's brand new for 2023. These brand new stimulus checks for 2023 are huge. And now you can get them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Become a member, write in that membership newsletter, and go right in and get those incredible checks. Go right on this video, join the channel. Join this channel, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to channel one, channel two, and channel three, and become a member and go right into that membership newsletter right now and access those incredible stimulus checks for you. It's news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Who qualifies for these incredible stimulus checks? You do. If you make 75000 or less, you do. If you're a married couple and you make 150000 or less, you do. And they're for every American within that threshold. Every American. It does not come from your governor. does not come from your mayor. It comes from the federal government, those people in D.C. 
And they're especially important stimulus checks there for SSI, SSDI, SSA, VB, RB, low income stimulus checks right now. These are your stimulus checks for 2023. This is the way they're done. And in this recording, we're also going to go over unemployment stimulus. And we'll also go over PEBT stimulus checks as well. But let's just start these incredible stimulus checks right now. And they're huge. And these incredible stimulus checks have are have been wonderful for viewers of this channel. And these are the stimulus checks for 2023. Let's understand where they came from and how they became law. Joseph Biden passed the first three stimulus checks for you, A, B, and C, by executive action. And they're huge. And we're going to go over those stimulus checks, A, B, and C, in just a second. And how do you access them? In the membership newsletter. Then came Congress, and they pass other stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, RB, VB, RB, and low income. These are all for you, stimulus checks A through C. And then came the ones from Congress, E through Q. Bringing us to more checks, and I found those other checks, L to Q, and they're all in the membership newsletter. Go right on this video, become a member. And originally, the membership newsletter was only Monday through Friday, only five days a week originally, and only at one time a day, 7 o'clock Pacific Star time. But I'm here to innovate. I'm here to help. I'm here to make things easier for you around the clock. And my Christmas gift from you to you is a 24-hour-a-day, seven days a week newsletter. The members of the channel are applauding it. The new members, brand new members, join this channel every two days, about 100 are applauding it. Why? Because now you can access that newsletter right where I'm watching this video. You're watching this video. You just found LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America with three broadcasting channels, number one with this subject matter overall. And you said, I want some of those checks. I want to become a member. Go around this video, join the channel, subscribe right now, and then go right in and get those incredible stimulus checks. The 2013 is a typo. It should say 2023 stimulus checks. Now, it's important to understand that these stimulus checks are great, but let's also understand what they are. Let's go over each of these incredible checks one at a time so you understand how to do it. So I'm actually going to show you how to get each of these checks in this recording. Stimulus checks A, B, and C. Let's go over those first three right now from Joe Biden. Stimulus check A, a $6,500 stimulus check for SSI, SSDI, SSA, VB, RB. Low income. These incredible stimulus checks are for you, and how do you access them? In the membership newsletter. Go right in this video, subscribe. Subscribe to channel one, two, and three. Make sure you have that bell set to all notifications to all on on all three channels. And then go right into that brand new membership newsletter. It's a second home for it. The first stays where it is, but the second one's brand new, so that you can access that incredible stimulus check A. Go right in and apply for that incredible stimulus check. Then we go to stimulus check B, and stimulus check B is huge. It is fifty to eighty thousand dollars. But stimulus check B is the one that's helping people get eighteen months of stimulus checks on this channel. Yeah, eighteen months. That's what viewers of this channel are averaging. How much? They're averaging about three che three thousand dollars a month, five checks per month, and about eighteen stimulus checks. Eighteen months of stimulus checks. It's huge. Again, eighteen months of stimulus checks. MSC law. For you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, BB, anyone who makes $75,000 or less, anyone who makes $150,000 or less, married couple, it's all for you. Get these incredible checks. But B is the check that's paying out a lot of months. That is a check that Frank Mancuso got, and that is a check that so many viewers have gotten. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 a month. B is one of those checks that's really helping that, that success story. And here's one of the success stories. Frank Mancuso joined this channel in less than 48 hours. Excuse me, less than 30 days. He got this. 18 months of mortgage. 18 months of utilities. 18 months of high-speed internet. This is how you rock and roll. You don't waste time. Look at that beautiful purple hawk emoji behind him. That is a member. He joined this channel as a member, and in less than 30 days, just a few dollars to become a member, what did he walk away with? Tens of thousands of dollars. It's going to be a two-year recession, has been my prediction. A two-year recession is 24 months, and that is why you need this, 18 months of stimulus. And those 18 months, if you got them starting January 1, 2023 stimulus, then guess what? You're going to cover yourself for most of the pandemic, January to, Jan to December of 2024. You'll get 18 months over those 24 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. That's how I care for you. I care for you because I'm looking to make sure that you get as much stimulus as you can to endure a two-year recession. And I'm always looking for more stimulus checks for you. That's how caring starts. 
and let's look at Stimulus Check C. Stimulus Check C is absolutely incredible. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. It's been on this channel for nearly two years. Viewers have been getting them ever since on this channel for two years. And let's look at some success stories. In the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Then go get some Check C. Become a member. Go right in the membership newsletter. And at Check C, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Become a member right now and get these 2023 stimulus checks for SSI, SSDI, SSA, low income, Anyone who makes $75,000 or less, go there right now. Utilities. You want $15,000 utilities? Of course you do. And then combinations of checks. Niece who's a $23,000, she went to $50,000. Mark is a $32,000, he went to $50,000. Then $100,000, then $166,000. And here is Lorraine, who is $105,000, she went to $150,000. How do you do this? Step one, go into the video, subscribe. Subscribe to channel one, channel two, and channel three of the three broadcasting channels of this family. Thank you for all the brand new subscribers joining those three channels. Then go under this channel, whatever channel you're watching right now, whether it's one, two, or three, and become a member. And then go right into that brand new newsletter launched by me for you as a Christmas gift. Viewers are adoring it. Why would you not? Because it is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And where is it? It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Get that incredible newsletter right now. It's in the pinned comment and also in the description of the video. Become a member right now, then go right in and get those incredible stimulus checks as soon as you can. That is open now 24 hours a day, seven days a week at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Every day, all day, around the clock. Those are the first three checks, A, B, and C, but we're not done there yet because why? Congress proposes a series of legislation elements for 2023, and among them are emerging bills from 2020 and 2021 that will reform Social Security. $200 monthly raise, $2,000 one-time stimulus check, yes. Let's go over the details of that right now. During the pandemic, you're not paid enough, they all agree, Republicans and Democrats. So then when you get caught up? This is an addition to your one-time raise coming next year. That one-time raise next year is 8.7% on top of your 5.9%. So you can get that starting January 1. This is an addition to that. And this is an addition to the stimulus checks we've already gone over and the other stimulus checks that are coming up later this according. This is proposed legislation. They first want to give you a $2,000 one-time stimulus check. Then they want to give you $200 a month one-time raise. Why? Because you're not paid enough during the pandemic and you're still behind. This is the same concept behind PEBT, which is heating up and dominating more news on this channel in the next few weeks. And that PBT news is coming out of Arizona, where a beautiful $391 check is landing families in the form of a card for what they endured because of the pandemic. PEBT, which is Pandemic Electronic Benefit Transfer, is being paid out to Arizona families of $391 this week. And the eligible families with school-age children receive that preloaded card in the mail that can be used for purchasing groceries, says Arizona's Department of Economic Security. Love it. Absolutely incredible. More PEBT shows are coming to this channel and perhaps the standalone shows in the next few days. Now, in addition to the stimulus checks A, B, and C... Congress came along and passed wonderful other stimulus, and those are stimulus checks E through K. We're going to go to stimulus checks E through K starting right now. Stimulus checks E through K are for you again. SSI, SSDI, SSA, RB, low income. Anyone who makes $75,000 or less or anyone who makes $150,000 or less. How do I get to stimulus checks E through K? in the membership newsletter. Become a member right now and go right into that membership newsletter and start applying for those incredible stimulus checks. E is a $7,500 stimulus check. F is a $4,000 beautiful stimulus check. G is a whopping, wonderful $8,000 stimulus check. J is an $8,000 stimulus check. K is a $14,000 wonderful stimulus check. And I think I skipped a letter. I did. <laughs> G is 30% off and H is a $2,000 stimulus check. There you go. And those are your beautiful 2023 20, federal stimulus checks, and there's more of them coming up in just a blink of an eye, starting right now. Stimulus check L is a beautiful $100,000 loan interest free um, uh, loan with a five $4,000 grant behind it. Incredible for you to keep that stimulus check M. N 
brand new tablet, computer, a laptop, love it with free internet. Oh my goodness. Go down into the membership newsletter at Stimulus Check N and get yourself a brand new computer. Get yourself a brand new laptop, brand new tablet, and free internet. It's a Stimulus N in the membership newsletter. Wow. Membership newsletter pays for itself in just one blink of an eye. Like Frank Mancuso got 10 tens of thousands of dollars in a blink of 30 days. And then Stimulus Check O, zero down payments, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage. And then Stimulus P and Q. P is 3% down and Q is $8,000 in closing costs. So let's go over a little bit more about these great, great 2023 stimulus checks. These great 2023 stimulus checks, part were passed by Joe Biden, part were passed by Congress, and they're still law. They're monthly, and they're absolutely incredible. Who qualifies? You do. If you make less than 75000 as a single individual, you qualify. End of discussion. It's not from your governor. It's not from your city. It has nothing to do with your state. It has nothing to do with your county. It has everything to do with being an American. It's for Americans. Again, 75000 less, you qualify. That's it. That's all you need to know. Go write on this video, become a member, and go right into that newsletter and start applying for these incredible checks. Largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny County, $45,000 in two days. We have money for home repairs, home appliances, the computer, the car, the internet, uh, the rent, the mortgage, the utilities. It's absolutely incredible. So what are you waiting for? Here are your beautiful 2023 stimulus checks passed. Congratulations. Very excited to detail them for you on this channel. And they're monthly. Once you're approved, you're getting these 2023 stimulus checks on a monthly basis. Start right now and start getting them like other viewers have gotten them as well. And with that, let's turn to the other story we're working on as well, which is unemployment stimulus. More Americans will be facing unemployment in 2023. So they may not have been employed during, may not have been unemployed during the pandemic, so they may not know how to do unemployment stimulus. Let's go over that right now. Unemployment stimulus checks are huge, especially if you're unemployed for a long time. Continuing jobless claims in the U.S. economy, 1.6 million, potentially growing to 1.7 million. Number of new jobless claims per week, about 211,000. So this is a lot of people. Let's go over the details of how to get unemployment stimulus. First, you need to be a W-2 employee, and second, you are fired. So then where do you get this money? It comes from your state, your state's Department of Unemployment or the State Department of Labor. They call it different things in the same state. You go right in and step one, file a claim. Step one, file a claim. And when you do step one, there'll be three things you need to remember for filing that claim. First, what date were you fired? In this example, it's October 1st. So the website will ask you, what date were you fired as a W-2 employer? If it was October 1st, you say October 1st, done. And then it's going to ask you, are you willing to work? Answer yes. You must answer yes. Are you able to work? You must say yes. If there's a no to any of those two questions, you're going to get denied. Then it's going to prove your claim. Step two is going to say, I do you want some weekly unemployment stimulus checks now? Of course you do. So it's going to start with the most the earliest date of unemployment in this example is October 1st. So that week I'll first have you do, and then I'll do the second week, then the third week, and bring it all the way up to the present. So if you just found this channel today, welcome. Do this right now. And your first payout from your state by direct deposit, if you choose that, I, I suggest you choose direct deposit, will be a lot of weeks of checks if you've been unemployed for a couple weeks. Then it'll do the, uh, and then it'll just bring you week by week until you're up to the present. It's that straightforward. It's absolutely incredible. It's unemployment stimulus. A couple of things to know. Can you be too early? Absolutely. The website will tell you you're too early to ask for a particular week. Can you be too late? No. So generally, if it's any time in the last 12 months, you're not too late. It's the only difference is the first time you get deposits for unemployment stimulus checks, there'll be a lot of them because there'll be a lot of weeks that you endured. Moreover, one of the things that came to mind, because there's so much to talk about with unemployment, because I did so much of this unemployment stimulus on this channel in 2020, and it's coming back in full form in 2022, is that if you were unemployed for several weeks and now have found a job, you can still get unemployment for the weeks you were unemployed. So here's the example. Let's say you're let's say you're fired October first. This is brand new for today's recording, or brand new for this year's recordings. I featured this a lot in 2020, but I haven't featured it in the last two years. It's brand new because this came to my mind. 
Let's say you were fired October 1st and you were unemployed October 1st to November 1st and then to December 1st. But on December 2nd, you found a job. Can you still get unemployment checks from October 1st to when you found the new job? Absolutely. You would get checks from the time in which you were unemployed to the time in which you became employed. So the fact that you would later became employed at a later month does not prevent you from getting unemployment checks from the period in which you were unemployed. Let's say that again. You were fired October 1st without a job in October, without a job in November, but in December got a job. Can you get unemployment for October, November? Absolutely. That's how it works. A lot of people don't explain this to people. It's so fundamental and it's a lot of stimulus. So I'm glad you're here and I'm glad I'm here to help you as well. Next, let's go over the latest details of what we're talking about with PEBT. These are checks for families that were really left behind during the pandemic. Because they were left behind with not enough money, they want to give you more money as well. It's the same concept for the Social Security reform of 2023. They want to give you a $2,000 one-time raise to get you caught up and then $200 a month for SSI, SSDI, SSA, and, R and RB. They also want to get rid of some antiquated laws. They're very outdated. They don't serve any purpose anymore. They want to get rid of the marriage penalty, which penalizes you when you get married, potentially canceling your benefits. Then they want to get rid of the asset cap that prevents you from how much assets you can keep on hand. If you want to go work, you should be allowed to work. And again, that's another outdated law. They want to get rid of it. And then they also want to lower the eligibility age of Medicare. Hashtag Purple Power, hashtag SS200. Again, $200 one monthly raise they're talking about and a $2,000 one-time stimulus check. The latest details right today is that 2023 will be a great year for you as a member on this channel because we start the year with 2023 stimulus checks law. We start 2023 with stimulus checks for 2023 law and lots of months of them on average 18 months. Why is that great news? Because the recession in its worst predicted form would be a two-year recession. Two years is 24 months. So 18 months of stimulus checks through a 24-month recession is perfect. $3,000 a month, yes, that's great as well, and five checks per month, absolutely wonderful news. It's fast stimulus. So when you do this, you can get paid really quickly. Johnny started on a Monday. By Wednesday, he had 45000 That's fast stimulus. By Friday, he had 80000 by getting 15 applications in, seven approved and seven rejected. Then he helped his friends and family and his mom and dad. Mom and dad each got 50000 And then his 20 friends and neighbors got a quarter million dollars. Get these incredible stimulus checks right today. Largest check, 100000 Smallest check, 8000 Fastest routing time you just saw. Home appliances, home repairs. Money for the car and the computer and the internet. Just a lot of beautiful stimulus. And that's what we're looking at right now as unemployment numbers could potentially rise. What will they be tomorrow? Well, the latest details on that, but make sure you become a member. Remember, the membership newsletter gets a second home on this channel. And everyone is talking about it. It's absolutely incredible. And that second home is news.lalight.com forward slash newsletter. Go right into that incredible newsletter, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As soon as you watch the video, you can become a member. And as soon as you become a member, you can go right into that newsletter. That is innovative. That is fascinating. And that is functional and helpful. Get that incredible newsletter right today by becoming a member and going right in and getting those incredible sums of money. There's potentially no soft landing in this economy. The breaking news on that's coming up in just a second. Plus, January doesn't get a Santa because there will not be a Santa Claus rally in January, and there certainly is not one in December. Wow. Increasing savings is very important right today because debt spending is out of control. Plus, we have a series of new manufacturing reports released, and we have Tesla flipping, flopping. Plus, we have Nasdaq struggles as well. The data you see on the screen right there, the red band has changed. That was just about an hour and a half ago. At the time, the Dow was up 93.44. The Dow Jones right now at this, with about 20 minutes left in the trading day, is uh, actually 10 minutes left in the trading day, is now down 353 points. 
That's likely to be its close if there's no other change in the next 10 minutes of the market. It's down 1% right now. So you're seeing an update as the market's about to close on this afternoon's broadcast. The NASDAQ earlier today was up, excuse me, was down at 79.74. It's right now down 139 points. That's 1.35%. Wow. It's just a horrible day in which 2023 is ending with a 300-point drop in the middle of when a Santa Claus rally would normally go underway. And that's why you need to get as much stimulus as you can. Go into this video, become a member, get that incredible newsletter at news.com, news.la.com forward slash newsletter. And welcome to the 100 new members. Membership is going up a lot. Tell your friends and family, come on over. If you're on SSI, SSDI. If you make $75,000 or less. If you make $150,000 or less, married couple. If you are employed and then unemployed. If you qualify for PBT stimulus. There's a lot of stimulus on this channel. And I got it all here for you all day, every day, as soon as you become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as all the breaking news continues on a big, bold Afternoons edition of Afternoons LA Today. We'll be looking at where the market is ending and also where the market is starting next year. A lot of details to go over, and I'll be back with you shortly and going over those details. From the shores of San Marco, California, see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. They're at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals. Reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California, all the way to the streets of Wall Street, as the Dow was initially up 93 points earlier today, but is about to close within about six minutes. We'll get that car. 104 p.m. Pacific Standard Close is about 110. It's now currently down 365 points. Ouch. That is 1%. The NASDAQ is currently down 139 points. Ouch. With about four more minutes left in the trading day, that's about 1.35. The problem at issue is the market has never found that Santa Claus rally. It did not happen. And without a Santa Claus rally, that means Santa is not coming in January. January is usually a weaker month than December. And with no soft landing in sight and increasing savings is more important than ever before. The day started with this data, however, manufacturing outlook, Tesla flip-flopping, and NASDAQ struggles. We'll go over all that details right now. But what you need to do is get all these incredible stimulus checks. Get stimulus checks for December and then get these brand new stimulus checks for 2023 in the membership newsletter. These are stimulus checks for you right now. Become a member. Go right in this video, become a member, join this channel, and get the incredible newsletter. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. I created that because I care about you. I created that because I want to make sure that you have access to the stimulus checks 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day, every hour. And as soon as you become a member, spent hours and nights to develop this brand new newsletter for you. It's totally innovative. Everyone's talking about it. And that is why you need to become a member, get that incredible membership newsletter right now. Let's go into the breaking news on this big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California. 
We started the day with the manufacturing reports, and manufacturing reports are one of the data points we talked about yesterday for 2023. Is manufacturing growing? Is manufacturing shrinking? If it's shrinking, it shows economy is shrinking. If it shows it's growing, it shows the economy is growing. So the manufacturing reports this morning for December 28th actually came in quite fascinating. And what did they show? They showed inconsistency depending on where you're looking at across the board. Let's look at the details right now. So we started the day with the Richmond, and also we started the day with the um, second location of those uh, manufacturing reports. And they weren't consistent across the board. Really quite interesting. What are we seeing in this data today? So big tech was struggling yesterday uh, in morning trading when it really slumped dramatically. It slumped dramatically when it fallen 1% in pre-market trading. And now as home prices fell for the fourth consecutive month in this U.S. economy, ouch. They are up still 9.2% housing prices, but sliding every month down about a half a percentage point in October compared to September, as the Fed ties federal uh, financial policies, a lower inventory remains sort of the question mark. It does sort of remain the question mark. But let's go into what we're looking at right now as we prepare for a big uh, end of the year rally or lack of rally. So stocks initially fell on Wednesday's outlook when um, energy was um, a slump. Energy slumped, slumped today as Marathon Oil uh, were among the noble losers in the index because oil prices have slumped, have slumped dramatically. If you're in that membership newsletter, you see that the international price of Brent crude is down in the 80s again, low 80s. And AAA national average has really fallen a lot. Louis Navalier says minutes ago that stocks finally clawed into the green in unison, but it didn't hold. That's earlier today. Absolutely. On the low volume, the market's trying to beat and keep its head above the water. Apple broke below technical levels. What's a technical level? We did this earlier this year. Let's use the hand gesture. So let's say this is $100 a stock. And you're going to 101, 105. Uh, let's, go, let's go a little higher. 110, 105, 100. And then you stop at 100. Well, if 100 is your resistance level, you don't go below 100. That is the resistance level from uh, uh, for the basement. Now, if you're going the up way, you're saying, oh, is it going to break above 200? Uh, we got to 198, we stopped, we went back down. We went to 197, we stopped, we went back down. So where is it now? It's breaking almost through its low resistance level, otherwise called technical level. Apple fell through a through the key 129 level and set a brand new 52 week low for the second day Wednesday. So Apple actually broke through the resistance level on the low end, also called technical level. This level has not been seen in nearly 52 weeks. The 52 week low achieved by Apple today twice this week is a big worry because Apple is the largest market cap stock and is now at the lowest low it's had. In 52 weeks, it's it has no resistance. It's not stay, It's not holding up, and it had been seen as a bellwether to the overall market. It's no longer seen that as it is now slumped to its 52-week low. During that period of time, um, where has it gone and where is it headed? Apple th uh, slumped under 129 today, as low as 127 right before I went on air. The lowest low, the highest high of that of the 52 week period was 138. So it has fallen um, substantially. Here are the other things making news. In contrast, Merck and Travelers Insurance are now on route to their highest levels we have seen in many, many years. Campbell Soup, which had that major beat just a few weeks ago, we talk about that and, and, and the Smucker's Jam. Those consumer staples, those canned goods are doing really well. Campbell Soup is now trading so high, we've not seen these levels this high since June of 2017. Hartford uh, Financial is really straight up. Best levels since October 2021. And a lot of other um, food products like Conagra Brands doing great numbers today. Best numbers since October 2020. So it's a very, very problematic market. And so Southwest Airlines, of course, dropped 2.5% today as well, as it continues to run a reduced schedule amidst the concern that it keeps on canceling flights.
That was really the day in which we uh, ended today across the board. We started the day, however, with some other data, and that other data was Tesla was bringing back some of its manufacturing overseas, and that's why that stock had gone from a uh, from a down to an up. It was a very, very flip-floppy day for Tesla. And the other thing that we saw across the board was the concern that now there will no longer be a soft landing. Why not? It's no longer believed that the Federal Reserve will orchestrate a soft landing with this economy because they have really hit it too hard and it is not held up well. That lack of holding up well in this economy is evidence in the contraction. And where is that contraction? In the manufacturing reports released today. I believe it's out of Richmond. The manufacturing report released today showed contraction in this U.S. economy. Contraction because... There's not a demand for the manufacturing initially thought, and that situation is not improving at all across the board. The NASDAQ struggled initially to start the day. That's a graphic from earlier today, and it ended the day even worse. Getting any better there? No, not at all. And the Tesla flip-flop, well, Tesla turned its negative to a positive by the midday. We'll see how it ends by the end of the market. Oh, we're almost closed. Uh, and that is how the situation changed so dramatically in just a short period of time. But I think the Apple breaking below the 52-week level is the best indication of no soft landing. Soft landing, hard landing, what's the difference? Soft landing is describing the Federal Reserve orchestrating an end to inflation that is pleasing to people's wallets. Soft, softening, hard, meaning you're coming to a crash landing to get inflation gone. And that is among the problems we're seeing across the board. We saw it yesterday when home prices fell in the month of October for the fourth consecutive month, and that was down 0.5% compared to the prior month. And it was down 9.2%, and even though it's up 9.2% year to date. One of the concerns right now, which is a very uh, unassessed risk, and you know how and I, we all do it on this channel, we always talk about unassessed risk is the question about labor and the question about China and travelers. There's a lot of reports of China now of ending its zero COVID policy and its travelers traveling overseas to brand new cases of COVID popping up in foreign countries. This is a big question mark because remember lifting and ending those zero COVID policies in China were good economic news for us. Why? Because the end of supply chain disruption. Our products made there would get back quicker to us. More products, more items, more profit, more earnings for our businesses. These are our products we make over there. Less products is what we were facing before. More problems, less earnings, and more layoffs. So the fact that China got rid of their zero COVID policy was initially great economic news for this market, but we do not know. It's an unassessed risk what the COVID numbers are coming out of their travelers yet. And they are landing all across the board internationally. Us traveling into China or anyone else traveling into China, that lift is, does not happen for a couple more days. So this is really an unassessed risk. And we just don't know the element of it across the board. Yesterday, the S&P was on pace for its seventh and most negative year since 1928. Ouch. And in, since 1928, there's only been 20 years where the benchmark fell to these levels this low. We haven't seen it more than 10% down. In fact, how bad has this year been compared to prior years? And what were those prior years? 2008, down 23%. 2002, down 38%. 1931, down 47%. What does this year, what does next year, and what does 2008 and 2002 have in common? Jump in the live chat, say the word. It's a word that starts with R, and I think you know the answer. What does this year, or at least next year, and what does the year 2008, when the S&P was down 23%, and the year 2002, when the mark goes down 38%, have in common? If you wrote the word recession, you got it right. The last two recessions both had very bad S&P markets, and that's what I always tell the viewers on this channel, is that in a recession, which is starting in January, you have a market that goes down 50%. And the real hurt of this market has not been exemplified as we thought yet across the board. It's interesting when we look at this graphic, going, this, is, this red ticker plus 93.44 was before the market turned sour in the final hour of trading day. 
ending almost 300 points down. Let's jump into the, and let's jump into the live as the market closed right now because you look at the oh you look at the number 115 p.m. So we did close. The Dow ended down 365 points minutes ago. That's down one percent. Uh, the Nasdaq ended down 139 points. That's down 1.34 percent. And this comes as Apple's stock fell 3% since we started this recording. Apple is really under pressure right today. The Apple concern is a big concern for the market because Apple's a very large cap company. The issue also spending right today is consumer confidence. Consumer and communication stocks added to the route in 2021. Um, the tech stocks accounted for the majority, top filed by consumer discretion and communication services, that lost the biggest in 2022. Where was that? Tech stocks were down 43% on average in 2022. Consumer discretionary were down 23%, and communication services were up 21%, were down 21%. So where were the ups in 2022? Obviously, oil and gas. Consumer staples like the Campbell Soups and the Smucker's Jam, they were doing really quite well at the end of the year. But this concern about Apple is very problematic today. It's not great for the overall markets, as Todd shown in a report minutes ago at Stratatic, Strategus. The end of the year is a funky time, but if it continues in the first couple of weeks for the next year, it's for real. Let me read that sentence again for you. The end of the year is a funky time. Why is it a funky time? Because there's less trade activity. There's less people in the office. There's less traders, less volatility. That's why the Santa Claus rally always happens where you go up. So it's not a very good indicator of what happens in 2023. What is, is January and February. If this continues the first couple of weeks, says Sohn, so he's not taking it in February, he's just looking at eight in January, this could be for real. Do I believe it's for real? Absolutely, I believe it's for real. Um, the stock of Apple fell through the 129 support level. It fell as low as 126 and then ended 127. So it still was below the resistance level. This is a day in which other stocks were, you know, uh, having good days across the board. And uh, Southwest is likely not to have a good day tomorrow at all because they've been under a lot of pressure because of their airline cancellations. Let's go back to that stimulus. So when doing stimulus checks for 2023, what's the mindset? Moving quickly and getting them right now. That's it. Moving quickly and getting them right now. You go around this video, you join the channel, become a member. Then go into that membership newsletter and apply for those incredible stimulus checks. There are 300 different stimulus checks. And those incredible different stimulus checks are huge with $300,000 of different, different stimulus checks for you. SSI, SSDI, SSA, RB, low income. Anyone who makes $75,000 or less. Anyone who makes $150,000 or less. Did you notice in that last paragraph of what I just said, I never said the word only. So do not listen to recording and then change what I say in your remembrance of what I said. And if you're not sure what I said, always replay it. So I said, here are the groups that qualify for the stimulus checks. And they all add up to individuals who make 75,000 or less, married couple, 150,000 or less. So don't ask, is this only Nebraska stimulus? Is this only, um, you know, people like sushi stimulus? Is this only, <laughs> don't add words to the sentence I don't say. I'm very specific on what things are. You go right into this video right now and become a member and go right into that membership newsletter. Why is that membership newsletter working? Because there's a lot of different checks. There's a lot of different checks to get. There are a lot of money, these stimulus checks. They're a massive amount of money. Many, many months of stimulus checks. And what you need to do is pounce like a purple hawk, not sit like a donut guy. You need to go right down to stimulus check A, click and apply. Stimulus check B, click and apply. Stimulus check C, learn and earn. And then go through all those other incredible stimulus checks and go get them. What's important to understand is that stimulus checks have changed all throughout these last three years. Initially, this channel launched in spring of 2020 and became the number three most watched financial news channel in America because I was teaching people, teaching people how to go from a step one application to a step Z approved application. They had applied for the ideal grant, they had not gone paid, and they needed help and they needed guidance. And I showed them. I showed them how to do unemployment stimulus. You had to go in and go get it. I showed them how to do PPP stimulus. You had to go in and go get it. I showed them how to do all these different stimulus. And to this day, we're still doing it, showing you how to go in and get it. 
It doesn't matter if it's a recession, it doesn't matter if it's inflation, I'm still here covering the subject matters. It has never been a situation where you stand by the mailbox and just look in. It's never been a situation where you just hold a donut in your hand and you just look at it and observe. It has always been you do something to get it. And those people who try to redefine the industry and attach new elements to it never progressed. Those were the people when the Department of IRS said, hey, you have to do something to make sure you get a stimulus check. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, you're not going to get a check. Those are the people who understood when there was a non-fire file and they had to do it. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Okay, you're not going to get it. Those are the people who in 2022 tried to do something other than what the members of this channel did. And they ended 2022 with not much of anything. Members of this channel are ending 22 with a big smile from smile from corner to corner. They have started with getting the stimulus checks in March, and they have gotten them every month since the month of March. They're holding nine months of stimulus checks because they did something. This is the way the system works. This is the way you do it. And it's all for you in 2023. Big new stimulus checks approved for 2023, all the way from A to Q and $300,000 of possible stimulus. And how do you get them? You go on to this video, subscribe, subscribe, tell your friends and family, come on over, share the videos, hashtag Purple Power on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, hashtag LL8, and start pouncing like a purple hawk. I'll see you tonight as the programming continues on evenings. From the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful afternoon and evening. And as always, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA. Bye -bye.